Hello everybody, China Avalanche fan, Joe Robert here with more Bakugan Battle Brawlers Pyrus Run. So, to recap on the last episode, we had to redo the Aquas Tag Team Tournament finale, which we successfully beat the second time through, no thanks to Dan. And we also did the tutorial for the Battle Royale, which is the next tournament, which is also a Subterra tournament. I wonder what the surprise is, even though it's obvious. But before we go there, why don't we take a quick peek to the park, because I believe after being the Aquas Tag Team Tournament, we unlock new people. So Chan Lee, we've unlocked. I think we got. Are you ready? I'm gonna beat you. You never will. So I think we get everyone that we battled. After all my training, I become the master of Bakugan. I'm better than the brawlers. I'll give you lots of Bakugan points if you beat me. Come on. He's putting down the brawlers. Let's settle this in a battle. Maybe later. I think that's it. All right, yeah, that's a lot. So I believe, if I remember correctly, yeah. So you see the people we unlock, such as uh, Chan Li and Julio, they're on easy, and then people like uh, Shuji and Akira, who up the game, their power is their difficulty is now normal instead of easy. So they're back. I believe their back on power levels increase a bit. I think their abilities change too. I'm not sure, but. They definitely get an increase. I think everyone else is still easy at this point. Yes, they are. Oh, I don't want to battle. Sorry, Chan Lee. No offense. You're a good battler, but I don't have time to battle with you right now. I have a tournament to get to. Welcome to the Brave Battlers Tournament. The attribute sub -terra. We're walking through the gate. I sure hope Dan's okay. Hey, wasn't it you and your Bakugan who blindsided Dan and beat up on Drago? What? No way. Me and Leonidas would never do that. Oh, yeah? Well, I heard how angry your Bakugan is in battle. If it wasn't Leonidas, who else could it be, huh? Mm -hmm. I must admit, Leonidas aroused a suspicion. And every Bakugan I bat has never even heard of him. Wait, if that's the case, perhaps he's not from Astroya. Intriguing. Who cares where he's from? Leonidas is my partner. There's no way he's done anything wrong. Aww. I trust him. Aww. You... You trust me? You bet, buddy. Of course I do. We fight fair. I know you'd never do that. One day, everyone else will too. Hmm. We'll see about that. Your name is Mud in the next tournament, kid. Spunky. I like it. No one disses Leonidas, my partner. Let's take a break. I want to win again in the next match. We just took a break. Alright, so our next opponent, or I should say the first opponent. Now, being a battle royale, it's four, it's one on one on one on one, free for all. So we've got Billy, who's using Subterra, Cycloid, Stinglash, and Griffin looks like in the middle. We are also facing, whoops, wrong way. Shuji, who's using Ventus, Falconeer, Garganoid, and Griffin. Or is it Falconeer? No, sorry. Uh, no, no, sorry. Uh, yeah, Falconeer, Falconeer. I'm thinking of Ravenoid. And Akira, who is using Subterra, Centiploid, Stinglash, and Juggernoid. Those are three. So, what's different about this Subterra battle is that Subterra Bakugan get the advantage and Ventus Bakugan get the disadvantage. So, with our Pyrus attribute, we don't have any advantage, but we don't have a disadvantage either, like in the Aqua spell. So, this will be a little bit easier. And with that, I think we're all set to go. Brave Ballast Tournament, first round. 
So the rules are a bit different in this one. Um, unlike the tag team tournament, you do not have a partner to back you up. Um, in a battle royale, as it says, you're all on your own. Four gate cards set. Before four people are playing, all against each other. The objective is still to get three gate cards, but it is a bit harder because you're competing against three people instead of one team. But the most important rule in this game is that when it comes time for the mini games with your back gone, the three players can choose who you want. Unlike the tag team battles where you had only one person teaming up with you, which was your partner, this one you could have all three people team up with you, you could have two people team up with you, or one person team up with you, or you could be facing all three people against you, which is definitely not fun. So I should say it's two, one, or zero because you face one of them. Um, so I think we'll play our, yeah, we'll play our Earthen Wave. The sub map is a fairly large map, but it would have to be for a tournament like this. And we see Gorm all around in the background. So I think we're going to throw, might as well just throw right there. If we can hit it. Let's start with our Rope Battalion. Didn't even... Crap. Who's green? Green is Shuji. Shuji was using sub... Oh no, he's using Ventus. Ah. Billy misses. Let's see what Billy does. Or, not Billy, Shuji, sorry. Let's see what he does. He lands on his own gate card, 260 for his Griffin. Now it's Akira's turn, see what he does. No battle. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to take advantage of this. I'm going to take a chance on Shuji's gate card. I don't know if I'll double... Alright, let's see if I can actually hit that crystal this time. There we go. Final Finger Fate. Not my favorite. Oh, am I going to make it? I will not make it. The sand took my Bakugan. Ah, oh, it's not good. Should have tried that ball. Cycloid, 490. Ooh. Pretty powerful. And sub Terra too, so that's even worse. Ventus on is it his gate card oh perfect garganoid on his gate card and my back is on sorry i'm just gonna zoom back a bit there we go so his garganoid versus my robe battalion Let's see what we got it is the change of fate card what is this card the back gun used by the player with the least gate cards gets plus 100. We're both tied, so no bonus. So 60 and 70. So he's up 10 G's on me. Oh my god. Now he's Ventus, so he gets a disadvantage, so I'm not too worried. So we got Shaking Battle, level 1. So this is Shake, 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 till you Shake no more. And we got Billy helping me and Akira helping Shuji, so it's pretty, so it's even pretty much. Except for that actual disadvantage. See if I can get to 600. Let's try 700. 800? Ooh, close though. 778. Laser blast. Shoot that Garganoid out of the sky. So one nothing me. Let's see what Akira has. Oh, that mirrors in play crap. Okay, um, I think I will try for if I can hit, if I can shoot properly. Oh, perfect. Spear attack works too. Wasn't planning on that, but okay.
Papyrus Griffin versus Ventus Griffin. I'm going into Griffin character card in all honestly honesty. That'd be nice. And it is a Griffin character card, huh? <laughs> What are the odds of that? I still stay ahead. He's playing his Blaze ability. It gives him 80 G's. So can he use another one? Yeah, I figured. So he's down two abilities and he passed by what? 16 G? Yeah, it's all. Uh, depends on who helps him though. So I'm gonna say everyone's gonna help him. Because I'm ahead. Oh, I still got help. Oh, wow. Billy must want me to win. Alright. Let's shoot down the Pyrus. Oh, that was close. My controller's a bit messed up too. I don't know why. It's like I'm playing with a handicap. But still won the gate card, so no biggie. So two for me and zip for everyone else. He's double stand, I'm gonna say. He is doing a double stand. Yeah, okay, whatever. At least Cyclone's gone. No throw there. What's Akira gonna do? Juggernaut on my gate card. That's just like a welcome mat for, hey, let's give him the win. So you know what? I'll be more than happy. Yeah, Juggernaut's got good defense though, so. Oh well, 65 G's is 65 G's. Further and wave, so I'm up another 60 G's on him. What's he got? I might as well go balls to the walls here because he can't use any more abilities. I've got two ability cards. And I would like to win the clean sleep. Sleep if I could. Oh no, I can't win the clean sleep because Billy's got an ability card. Did I say clean sleep? Isn't it clean slate? I don't know why I said sleep. I'm pretty sure it's clean slate. Clean. No, it's clean sweep. What am I thinking? My god. Clean. Clean sleep, clean slate, clean sweep. <laughs> yeah, they're both helping us. So it's three on one, technically. What's the battle, anyway? Oh, timing battle. Okay, I got this. Even with some terror bonus. Computers never do this right. The day a computer ma the day a computer masters a time battle is the day I stop liking Yu-Gi-Oh, and that's never gonna happen. Thirteen oh seven is yeah dominated. So it's an almost clean sweep. That will do that battle. Two Ventus and Subterra. I don't think we took on Billy at all, but he never let us fight him. So, eh, what are you gonna do? So, I think because these battles are long, I'm gonna call the episode here. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do one, uh, one free throw battle at a time because I probably could do two. But because they can take a while, depending on how the battle goes, I don't really want to risk running it that long. I want to try and keep it under 30 minutes, and I think it could go a while. So we'll at least check out who we're facing next next battle. 
So next battle we're facing Julio with Chaos, Tentaclear, Fearyver, and Griffin. Chan Lee with Pyrus, Fortress, Raven. Yeah, no, Falconeer. I keep mixing those two up. Jeez. Falconeer and Cenoploid and Klaus with Aqua Sirenoid, Fear Reaper, and Rope Battalion. So, um, there is no attribute advantage or disadvantage in this next upcoming battle. In the part we unlock, probably guessing Billy got upgraded, I'm gonna say. Oh. I'm new and improved. You should take my challenge if you don't believe me. I'll give you lots of Bakugan points if you win. She sounds confident, but I'm not going to lose. I would hope not. I'm guessing the other one. Yeah. I'm challenging you to a battle with my new skills. If you win, I'll give you lots of Bakugan points. I've been practicing too. I'll show her what I can do. So I'm guessing they probably got updated to normal as well, I'm going to assume. Yes, they're both normal. So, four normals we have now. And before we go, we'll check our rating one more time to see how much more we moved up on the Bakugan ladder. We are ranked... 319th place, which isn't too bad, actually. We're slowly getting up there. We're getting to that number one spot. You'll see. We'll get there soon. Alright, but I think we'll save it here. So, on that, guys, that'll do it for this episode. So, the next battle, we'll continue the Brave Ballers Tournament in the Subterra Arena. So on that, guys, take care. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next episode of Becky Gone Battle Brothers. Pyrus run. Take care guys.